Hello, Synthetic Programming here with another tutorial. Today we are going to make a menu-based batch file. So you guys want to know how to make menus, and we're going to teach you how to make menus, because it's really easy, and uh, it's fun to do. So, here we go. Start off with our echo off, and we're going to pause it. And I always pause it, because, you know, when you pause something, it makes it openable. See, now when we open this, it'll actually open. It won't just quit out. And when it quits out, it's stupid. And now, of course, we're not going to need that pause later because we're going to be using something cool. And uh, that's going to be actual input. So <laughs> what we're going to do now is we're going to print. Uh, oh, my God. Why would I? I almost wrote print echo. Echo. And we're going to put enter one before menu two echo we already have enter two for menu three cool so now when we save that and we open it it's gonna do this so of course if you try to put in two or if you try to put in one it's just gonna close and that's because we don't actually have an input set up and that's what we're gonna do right now so when you set an input, you set it as a variable. And that variable we're going to set now is set, let's see, we're going to set the variable slash p. Um, the answer, so we're setting the parameter answer. And that is going to be equal to the text that is prompted by um, enter number. So what that's going to do is, if we file, save, and we open this now, it's actually going to give us an enter number place where we can we can input anything. And of course it has to be numbers for this to work, but still, if we put in one or two or anything, it's not going to, it's not going to do anything because we don't have anywhere for it to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up some other boxes. And uh, I'm, menus, I think of everything in boxes, but what we're going to do is this, we're going to set up our different loops we're gonna do B go to B and what these are gonna be is these are gonna be our two menus so our first menu is gonna echo it's gonna print you are at menu one yay <laughs> and then in B we're gonna do a you are at menu because menu 2 is not as good as menu 1 so menu 2 is going to be bad dun, dun, dun. Um, so what's going to happen is this is still not going to do anything because when we hit save and we run it you're going to see it still says this but if we put in 1 it's not going to it's not going to take you anywhere until like it'll do that you are at menu 1 but it's just going to loop and the problem is why does it take you to menu 1? Now, people go, wait a minute, it does work, it takes you to menu 1, but it's not exactly true. I could put in 2, and it will not take you to menu 3, it'll take you back to menu 1. Why is that happening? Notice that it runs this code. It says put in a number, and the second you put in that number, it doesn't even care. It goes right to here, and it starts looping. We don't want that to happen. We want it to jump back and forth. So, what we're going to do after this is, Instead of having go to A here, we're going to make sure we add a pause. Just so we know that it's not going to loop like crazy. Here, we have to set a conditional statement to make sure that we know where it's going. But we, all we have to do is type if. Now, our parameter is ans, or answer. If answer uh, is equal to, which is 2. Uh, it has to be two equal signs, make sure, uh, is equal to one. Then, and then we put whatever we want to happen in her. And I'm going to say, go to A, right? Because we want it to go to A when it's one. Also, I forgot that this is menu three. But, cool. So that's our first conditional. We can actually just copy this, paste the second one, and say that if it's two, go to B. Now at the bottom of these, we want a way out. And the way out is going to be, uh, after we add our pause, 
the way out is going to be changing it so that this instead of this go to b we're going to make a new entry up here which is do 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 up here at the top and we're going to do c this will be go to c and this will also be go to c we see now as we go in here and do this one brings us to menu one enter goes back to the top two brings you to menu three continue now it's gonna keep doing this endless text and we don't want that endless text all we have to do extremely simple CLS at the beginning of everything uh, what this is gonna do is it's just gonna clear the screen right after we hit pause before it goes to C we just do another CLS and this is what you're left with do, 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 do. ready set go our final program is gonna look something like this you hit one you are menu one it already cleared it press any key to continue we hit a key it brings you back to the menu press two brings you to menu three any key and you'll notice that it's just going to keep clearing and this is how menu based programs are created thank you guys so much for watching this was synthetic programming and leave a comment leave a like we love it you guys are active this was a longer video i know but bear with us and uh... hey we'll see you guys in the next tutorial peace